And thanks for joining us tonight. A proposed indoor sports complex could possibly be finding a home in an unconventional location. Rock County reporter Adam Duxter tells us how the Janesville Mall is providing that opportunity. Adam? Well, the Janesville Mall has lost several major elite retailers over the course of the last few years between Sears, JCPenney, and the Boston Store. But tonight, those in the city of Janesville are seeing all that open space as an opportunity. You've got something that's drawing people here. It's going to have people park here in the back. As Gail Price walks the lots of the Janesville Mall, Woodman's store, you've got some banks. Yeah, the Woodman's headquarters is right there. He sees opportunity in a prime piece of real estate. In college, they teach you location, location, location is everything in real estate. Uh, but when we think about retail, uh, it's so much of it is driven by traffic. But in recent years, the mall has struggled to keep stores open. With the closing of Sears and Boston store this past spring, that prime real estate is becoming more and more empty. What can we do as a city to help the mall, uh, help other businesses continue to be successful? Turns out there's some in town that could really use the extra space. Right now we have little kids practicing hockey at 9 o'clock at night. Um, or even 10 o'clock at night. Our league play goes till midnight. At a board meeting Thursday night, Paul Benson and the rest of a special committee voted unanimously to make the mall the top location for a proposed sports complex with new rinks, courts, and fields. And while it would cost millions to build, they say the mall is planning on selling them the space they need for just one dollar. If we can acquire a site, um, for as close to zero as possible, then we have more money to focus on building the product for the citizens. And while it's still a ways away from being a done deal, uh, they come here for the night for a Jets game. Price is already thinking of how the empty space could turn into a money maker for the city. And that travel is tied to these sports teams, these youth sports teams that travel the country or travel a region uh, for contests, tournaments, whatever that may be, that provides occupancy in our hotels. They spend money at restaurants when they go out to eat uh, and, and so forth. Now, this proposed sports complex would end up going where the current vacant J.C. Penney sits right now. And while it's still a proposal and has some hoops to jump through, when it's all said and done, it would end up costing about $33 million. Now, there is a community forum this upcoming Wednesday at Janesville City Hall to get a little bit more feedback from the community. That'll be at 6 p.m.